Hi everyone, so today I will show you how to make springs for the nebula mouse. So what we want to do is make a spring like this, which has a 90 degree bent on both the ends. And I will show you how I make them. <coughs> so the main thing that I use is uh, this wire. This is a 0.6 mm or 23 gauge. It's a stainless steel. It's an orthodontic wire. If you search for orthodontic wire, you will get, and this is of a hard variant, okay? So you should get a hardened stainless steel wire. And this wire is like very hard. So if you use your normal uh, electronic cutters, no, that it will damage that. The so second thing what we need is a jig. So this is the jig that I have made. So this is made from a M4 screw and I have cut a notch here <coughs> using Dremel uh, so so that the wire uh, that 0.6 mm wire can go inside it so first thing what we will do is we will create a 90 degree bend so we will take a normal nose cutter uh, sorry nose plier here and we will make a bend here so this is a 90 degree bend here and then we will put this inside this notch here ok and then we will screw the, this bottom screw here ok so let's measure the gap here so if I take my caliper and measure the gap so I am getting around 6.5 okay so this screw has a pitch of around 0.7 mm and uh, I am trying to achieve 9 turns so 0.7 into 9 gives me 6.3 so this is pretty close to that okay so it should be little more than that so I have kept it as 6.5 okay So next thing that we need is a slow speed drill and we will put this in the chuck. Okay. And using a plier what we have to do is we have to put a tension on this wire. So we will just grab this wire and we will pull it down and we will slowly turn the drill so that it gets wounded around this thread. Okay, like this it is done <coughs> and then we will leave it so this is done we will open it and at this point we can cut it off so let's keep a little bit of margin and we can cut it from let's say here and then we have to take the bottom screw out and then we can take the spring out So this is the formed spring and both the ends are in different orientation at the moment. Okay. So first thing what we will do is we will expand the spring a little bit so that we can work with it. So I will take a nose plier and just put it under this like here. And take another plier and we will pull it a bit. Okay, like this we have pulled it. Okay. So now this top part, first thing we'll do is we'll bend it inside. So we'll grab it like this and we'll just have to with our fingers we'll bend it in. So we'll you will see we are making a D here. So if I bend it little more in right okay. 
and then we'll press it with a plier so it should pass from the center okay like this and then we just have to put another nose plier under it like this and we just have to pull it up and we have to just pull it up okay and little bit we just have to adjust it okay so one end has formed now so for the other end we just have to compress it so that this part gets to the center so we'll just hold it like this okay and then we just have to straighten it a bit yeah so like that one spring has formed so so once you do it couple of times you will get a hang of it then and it's pretty easy to do